What's good, good y'all? It's the Duma Shabs React, and we're back, back with another video. video. What we got today, see? Today we are back with another reaction to the continent of Africa. Nice. We're nice. super excited about this video because we will be watching Wolda Maya's video mm. where he asks Africans what they think of African Americans. Mm. This is going to be very interesting. I want to know how deep we're going to get into this, how honest people are going to be. Yes. And I would love to know the, you know, what they got to say, what they got to say. Yes, I'm super excited about this. We're going to go in with an open mind. Um, we both have heard some things, you know, in life of what Africans think of us. And we're just going to get into the video and see what happens. Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Alias Wonder Maya. Yo, Maya. Yo, Wonder Maya. I'm back again with another video. And in the last episode, we did what African Americans think of Africa. If you have not seen it, just check out the link below. I am Maya. And today, we are going to continue the peaceful war. We want to know what Africans think of African Americans. I am Maya. This peaceful war is going to be sweet. I just want to see your comment. Comment below. Hey, look, before we even dive in the deeper, I'm feeling this energy. I like I how we got. Energy. My man got a whole swag with him coming through like that. I Say like it. I like Mr. it. Ghana, baby. Right. Right. <laughs> I am Maya. I feel Stay tuned. I'm <laughs> <laughs> African Americans. I think they people who grew up in the United States and they don't know their culture. Originally, those guys are from Africa, but now they were taken to the worst, and now they lay culture identity. That's what I think. Well, yeah, we need to yeah. stop it before everybody else. Okay, so he said that. Um, we lost our identity. Yeah. And yep. we don't know our African heritage. Yep. They also, uh, this is looked at, you know, land of the free. Mm -hmm. But he said, we was taken to the land of the worst. Yeah. <laughs> land of the worst. Um, okay. My thoughts on that. He is absolutely correct. 100% correct. You know, yep. because when we start trying to look back at where we come from we hit dead ends mm. like the dead end for me is on my maternal side i know that um my two times great grandmother is from honduras but before that <laughs> where did she come from and that's where i have the dead end i don't mm. know if you know she's full blood Spanish or you know um, African. Yeah, like, like so, you're just not sure with it. Yeah, but 100%. I'm pretty sure yeah. my, my paternal side is straight African. I tell you so. what, I tell you what though. Um, another thing is you can just like dive deep into the school systems and understand yeah. that we don't really get taught. Nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing. Anything to from where the where, where black community really generates from other than slave trades, mm -hmm. right? And we don't want to hear anything about the slave trade. We want to know about our real roots, who yeah. our real ancestors are, we right? The kings and the queens. Right, so yeah, you know? so I, I really understand and feel what you're talking about when you say that identity has been stripped from us and we it don't has. know exactly where we come from. It has, but don't beat us down for it. We can't control that our ancestors were the ones that got on the boats. Hey, we, you yeah. know? Listen, so. another story. To me, she was the type of individual who opened her doors yeah, and said, come eat with me. I will not judge you for what you don't know. We have the you know same what I'm saying? skin color. We have the same skin color. We still have the same background. I can't judge you for what you don't know. We are still the same at the end of the day. In right. fact, you guys have great ideas that I would right. love to more, you know, deep dive, dive deeper into. Come on, man. Right. Right. I like that. I like that. She cool. 
think about African Americans, I don't know if they're good people, I mean, I don't have anything negative to say about them. Um, I know that maybe in some parts of the world, people <laughs> might have something negative to say about yeah, them. Okay. I just think that even though some of us look the same, I mean, people don't look the same. Yes. Even though some of us don't look the same, African Americans and Africans, I mean. African Americans. Well, personally, I don't have good thoughts about them because most of the African Americans feel so superior. They feel they are come on, bro. people, but man, come on. They are like us. We are all Africans, just like the name goes, African Americans. So I don't know why they feel so superior. Like most of them feel so superior. I've had a personal encounter with these kind of things, like where I meet African Americans and I'll. I'll be like hello and then they feel like they're on top of the world because mm. they're having that kind of racist with the real Americans, like the white Americans. Mm. They are racist. Most of them are racist. So I don't really have any problem with them, but this is the only thing like I don't really like about them. Mm. Okay, so he said that most of African Americans are racist to Africans. Mm. And um what I see from, you know, just judging off of his body language and you know the way that he was speaking he's had bad experiences he right, right, even right. said that he um he say hello and they think that they're superior right 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 right. he mm -hmm. give me the he give me the energy that whenever he do approach african americans uh for some reason we give off the idea that we stand on your shoulders and we look down on you mm -hmm. and that makes him from his body language that makes him look like he's really uncomfortable to yes. even continue to have conversations with us and he said that's like the only thing that he really have problems with that we make it seem like that we have more we're richer we we have the better lifestyle but in reality we are still the same yet we are yeah, taught differently because i will where we, where we grow live. where we grow and where we live but i do i do feel where he's coming from 100 percent Mm -hmm. 100%. Because even living out here, I deal with that. Mm -hmm. Some people do feel like that wealth makes them better. Yes. Or locations make them better. Yes. When in reality, I'm like, yo, bro, we still have the same background. We still have the same things. We going through, we're still fighting the same battles. What yes. makes you more better than me? In reality, humanity. What makes another person better than me in reality? All right. I want to touch on the racist part. Um, oh, yeah, he yeah, yeah. said that African Americans are racist to... Um, Africans. It was. I agree with it, and then again, I don't agree with it. Cause you know, let's talk about class. Wealthier African Americans look down on poor African Americans, mm. and within that, outside of class, let's talk about skin tone. There are some light skin, you know, African Americans who may look down on darker skin African Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, it's yeah. like. We're fighting class, then we're fighting skin tone, and then guess what? We are judged by, you know, just us being black. Mm. So it's, we have to go against class, we have to go against, you know, skin tone, we have to go against race, and then we have to go against Africans, mm. you know, because... In Lake Charles, there was a lot of Africans that I work with at one of my jobs, and they, I felt that they looked down on me, mm. you know, because a lot of what I heard in that area that I was in, those Africans felt like African Americans were lazy. Wow. You know, so yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I just think that there's going to always be a divide Unless we have conversations like this and we, conversations we start, is needed. yeah, and we mm. start to understand each other more. Like, why are we so against? And I'm I'm saying we, but it's I don't think this. But why are African Americans and Africans so against each other? Like, society has put us against each other, but living in America, you know, being raised in America, we're always. What do we always hear? go back to Africa. Yeah. And the person like me, I'm like, okay, boom, I'm packing my bags. Yeah. But it, it, it's, mm, yeah, it, it's just yeah. a touchy subject. And, yeah. But I do understand what he was coming But from. it's to always be open-minded and ready to tackle on the conversations without showing so much aggression behind what you don't know what the next person don't know. Mm -hmm. And whenever an African-American uh, from Africa, 
Let me say, whenever someone from Africa run into a person from America, yeah. um, you got you really have to understand the amount of titles that has been laid in front yeah. of us that we have to encounter every day. Like you yeah. said, different classes, light skin versus dark skin, education versus non-education, yes. poor against what. We have been dealt so many layers of cards mm -hmm. that we are, are battling our own reflection every day because we're trying to be what society paints. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And one more note before we, well, I guess it's talking about culture. I want to say this because I don't want to forget it. But as an African American, I want to talk about my first memory of learning about Africa. And that was me as a little girl staying up late at night and seeing the, um, you know, the propaganda commercials yeah, yeah. about, you know, the the children in Africa, about they were hungry, oh, they yeah, lived in huts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the first images that a lot of us saw. That is why we grew up thinking that Africa was one of the poorest continents, when in fact, Africa is one of the richest continents. Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, because as young kids, we watched TV and we would literally allow television to tell our vision on mm -hmm. what we haven't truly got a chance to encounter you know what i mean so yeah. 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 let's get deep into this man this is yes. juice i like it obviously obviously there is a huge cultural difference um it all depends with the environment in which you grew up in we yeah. grew up in africa we have our culture roots we know where we come from and those guys most of them, they really don't know where they come from. So that makes a huge difference. Maybe a little because in Africa, they're like more, how can I say, they, they show more the real culture, but in, I don't see a lot of difference between African Americans and real culture. The one thing that we have in common is um, when you talk about cultural uh, differences, I mean, that's not different, but the one thing that we have in common is family. Other than that, I think maybe the way we speak, um, the way we dress is very different. They like to put their hands above their head. <laughs> I mean, African American men like to put um, the sagging. The pants, the sagging. The sagging, sis. <laughs> African American men. That's, that's not how we like, no. like, my, my, my father would. <laughs> he, would, he, would he would call them. Uh, yeah, there were a lot. Like, okay. Yeah, before we get to him. Yeah, because he got a lot to say. But I want to comment on that um, about the sagging. Because, you know, the sagging did start in prisons. Yeah, I, and, I, I used to say it. I ain't gonna lie. Because I'm not gonna just say, hey, I wasn't a sagger. Like, you didn't yeah, know, know, you know, know any better. But I like that she pointed that out because a lot of. You know, especially from where we're from. We're from mm -hmm. the South. Mm -hmm. We're not only from America, but we're from the South. Right. And um, a lot of, you know, growing up in the hood, a lot of our young men think that that's okay. When, in fact, a well-dressed man mm -hmm. looks way better than, you know, somebody who's sagging and showing their butt. And, mm -hmm. So I like that she pointed that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I like all of this so far, too. The African Americans behave like the Americans. They behave the same. It's just that the color difference, but they behave the same. Like in terms of them being racist, like and when it also comes to the way they talk, the way they wear their clothes, the way they behave, their kind of dance alive, their language. Like there is a very huge um, difference when it comes to culture, because we Africans, I think when it comes to something like. In our dress, and we dress a little bit polite, like as compared to African Americans. Mm. Most of them do not dress like polite. Mm. I like I like that. He said I, that. I like that he used the word polite. Polite, I because like that, that goes back to sagging. I know a lot of, sh I, and, and, and I'm gonna say, I want to say this right without sounding too off, but I know a lot of black women don't, they don't like for a, a male to come around. Showing they tell. Like, they don't like when they draws are out, when they sag them really, really low. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some of them just don't find that respectful. Yeah. Some other women do, right? And that's only because the location, the areas, and how certain people are raised, mm -hmm. right? What we grow up to see and what we have to, like, encounter every single day. Yeah. Some of them, some of us have no access away from this type of environment, yeah. right? So we are allowed to accept 
but I'm glad that he even used the way the the, the language polite oh, yeah. because it is polite to walk into a business with your pants up, other than being right. sad because they're not gonna take that. They, right. They're gonna be like, "Yo, what you?" I I I don't. I'm, it's like the seriousness is not gonna be there. And another thing too, I think with the cultural differences, you know, what what I know about Africans, and you know, this is with my personal research. This is you know watching. African movies. I love African movies, African shows, series, and stuff like that. Um, Africans have stronger morals mm -hmm. than than mm -hmm. African Americans. Mm -hmm. You know, because not all of us grow up having um, having you know adults instill morals and values in us. And then I think in the African household, it's more stricter. Yeah. Than Hours. Yeah, 2019 has been one of the most interactive of years for me where I have encountered with a lot more Africans. Uh, and I must admit that it has been really, really helpful just to be, you know, engaging with them, talking to them, understanding them. They do have their own language. Mm -hmm. And I find that just so, like, amazing, right? Because when they talk and then they break off into another conversation, I'd be like, yo, <laughs> Teach me. Let me know. <laughs> like, well, yeah. like, what's it doing? Like, yeah. and, and I just, I, I find that really cool. But my uh, big question right now, um, and I kind of think I, I, I think I kind of know it, because he also said the way we talk is all different as well. Yeah. Down here in the south, from Louisiana to Atlanta, yeah. you know what I mean, to Florida, yeah. the lingo yeah. switches. Mm -hmm. We are from Mississippi. You can hear the lingo switches. Yeah. But in Africa, here's my question. Does the accent gets deeper? Like I, I think per language, because you know they have different tribes. Right, they, they have, have different, different tribes. Different but does languages. the but does the lingo change, or does it still has the? You mean like sayings? Like does like you know? Like for, hello means the same. No. Like that? No, no, no. no. Okay. So what I mean is, um, down here in the south, we may say over there. Mm -hmm. And somewhere up north, they may say over there. Yeah. Like, does the lingo switch as, as dramatic as it does down south? Maybe. I think maybe. Maybe. I was going to say something, but I don't really know that to be true. But y'all y'all fill us in politely. Okay? Um, But I did want to touch on one thing that he said. Um, He said that African Americans, we, we act like Americans. And, you know, it's sad that living in America, we can't just say that we're American. Yeah. We have to label it. We have to say African American. We have mm. to say Caucasian American, Asian American. You know, all of those different types of Americans. Um, I, I think that we're the only country that's like that. Yeah. Like, we label what type of... American, yeah, we are. I'm sure you know there's like Afro Caribbeans and all of that, but it's just in America, racism is just so to another scale. Yeah, you it know? is true. Yeah, racism but is to another scale. I wanted yeah. to say how you know in the last video how I kept saying out of the country and all of that, mm -hmm. and that was getting misconstrued by me. By Africans thinking that I was saying that Africa is a country. I am intelligent. I am an intellectual. I know that Africa is a continent and I know there's 55 countries in Africa. So it's just what you're talking about, the different lingos mm -hmm. and, and how we talk, you know, because us being from the South, like we say, I don't want that. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You, you, the no at the end. Yeah, the reaffirming no at the end. that I do not want that. Yeah. No. And I, I know, think bro. Louisiana yep. is one of the only states that talk like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I so like just that, things like that's, this. Because that's <laughs> even Texas and Louisiana are right by each other, but we always saying, oh, this is better in Louisiana. Oh, this is better in Texas. You know, so it, it's just, oh, Jesus, life. Uh. <laughs> I had a thought. I forgot it. Hopefully, I can get back to it. I remember. Everybody in this world all have a good side 
and the bad side. Some people embrace one or the other more. Um, a lot of times we get people that come in our comment section and they're very ugly and mean, right? Yeah. And I just want to say that it may even come from people from Africa, meaning that all over the world we have people with good sides and bad sides. Exactly. Yo, if you coming from Africa and you're underneath my comment section and you trying to do some uh, uh some uh, some other stuff like to the left with it, like some yeah. stuff that we don't like, nitpicking. like nitpicking, that's not gonna stop me from wanting to go visit. No, that's not gonna stop me from wanting to check it out. I mean, yeah. You hear me? Like. I'm still gonna go out there and ignore the foolishness, right? Because hate is only self-reflect. You feel it, I don't. <laughs> I'm not bothered. We ain't bothered by it. Nope. So please, just ref just, just just quit it. Just don't even don't go Don't waste there. your time. Don't waste your time. You're gonna get blocked anyway. Yup. <laughs> We obviously look alike. Originally, we are from the same from the same root, right? We are all Africans, but then they were transported to the western part of the world. So mm. obviously, we're gonna look alike, mm. but there's some difference because now they are in a different part of the world. I don't. I. I I've never hung around, and like I always, I'm only gonna piece what I'm saying based on what I see on TV. Yeah. I think we do look alike. <laughs> I think we do look alike, but also you have to remember that um, during the time of slavery, the, sl the slave era, and whatever, um, the masters sleeping with the slaves most, and all that. Slave masters were reproducing with yep. uh, with with with, um, with African American women. I don't know about the men, but African American women. So. There, there could be some kind of uh, maybe differences in, in how they look a little bit, but I don't know where they really, really look alike. I mean, in South Africa, we have like we also differentiate ourselves between black people and colored people. <laughs> I know that in um, in America, they have a colored person is someone who looks like me, but in South Africa, someone who is colored is someone whose father or mother was white and. Who is mixed race, basically? That's a colored person. That's new to me. That's new to me. That's new to me. Wow. Ooh. Wow. That is new to me. Never knew that. Mm. So, down here they call it, well, we don't really go by the terms colored. I, I, no, I was going to say that my grandmother has colored on her birth certificate, but she has Negro. Yeah, yeah, and, and um, that's what it leads to, Negro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you hear the word color, it leads to that language behind the word colored person. Yeah. And we don't even go by that. But now to see that whenever they hear the word colored out there, it's it interracial. Yeah. We, we yeah. actually call it mix or yeah. mulatto. Or yeah. And we don't see anything by it, but now that they mention it, it... it it actually means something. Okay, that was new. Okay, go ahead, girl. Talk your talk. Well, yeah, we are all the same. Come on, African Americans and Africans are all the same. We came from the same origin. And what hurts me is most of them do not know their roots. But if they really consider where they come from, they come from Africa. So we look alike. It's just that they happen to be in America and they feel they are Americans and they feel they are the higher citizens in the world so they feel so superior and they think the whole world is in their hands so they behave like what the white americans do that is very bad they are all african sorry i had to stop them we do not behave like anybody but ourselves i don't know um, i don't know who he's speaking about whenever he's he had bad experiences he must have had bad experiences right because i'm black and don't behave white or I don't behave as if I have the world in my hands. Yeah. I'll behave as a respectful man who gives respect, gives respect, and if you disrespect me, I demand respect. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you know what I mean, is model with model. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't like the fact that when people think of Americans, the default thing that they think of is white Americans. You know, I understand oh, I understand about the slave trade and all of that and we were brought here against our will. But like we have gone through a lot to be being full citizens. Like this isn't nineteen whatever when they were still calling us, you know, a, a half a citizen. Mm -hmm. We are American citizens. 
I understand the history, but I grew up here. I I got married here. I've been raised here. My family is here. My family has been here for five generations now. I am proud to be American. You know, it's like just summing it up. It was Africans who was brought into slavery, mm -hmm. who was fighting to get out of slavery, who was fighting so we can have rights, in who was land. in this land, in who this was land. then born into this land, mm -hmm. so they children, 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 children can live respectfully in this land. And then the cycle was supposed yeah. to go back to where, but it... But but by the time it was just so far fetched to where you know everything that was given into this land was was more you know I ain't gonna say was glorified but we was more comfortable at that point of life. Yeah, we we fought to have what we have now. Right, and you was, know yeah. after slavery ended, the people formed the land, they cultivated the land, they became citizens. Even you know with our voting rights and all of that, I'm American. Don't say that I act like the white Americans. I'm American. Mm. I'm proud to be of African descent, but I grew up here. So just because I grew up here doesn't mean that me, I can only speak for me and my family. We don't think that we're superior than, you know, a, a natural born African. I'm African, but I'm American as well. Yep, yep, yep. Cool fact though, and I want to uh, end it with this one before we go back into the video. Um, I was listening to a podcast and the gentleman was speaking about his roots, his heritage, the, his, the, the fathers before him, right? Mm -hmm. The ones that was actually brought into slavery. And he was trying to discover his purpose and understand what he wanted to do in life. And then he was, he found out from doing his deep, deep, deep research, because a lot of our stuff is just oh, it's hard to come across. He did his deep research and he was able to find out that his one of his grandfathers was uh, born into slavery, was a slave, mm -hmm. and was still able to own land. That is and awesome. he had the deed to the land and was able to pass it down to his children. Mm -hmm. And the person that was looking into it to say, hey, who am I, what I want to be in life, was able to realize that he was... Uh, more comfortable in working in real estate mm -hmm. because of what he was able to discover. Exactly. Right. So I just think that's pretty interesting. Yeah, our ancestors went through a lot for us to be Americans. Yeah. So Africans, we are Africans. We have to behave like here, one people. Actually, if you see a nigga from Africa walking in the street and you see a nigga from America walking in the street, I don't see any difference. <laughs> Because real nigga, we don't see any difference. What is she saying? Thank <laughs> you. What is she saying? So the peaceful rock. Yeah. She said what she was saying. She was yeah, she just said it like how you would hear it in the street. Okay. That's it. Well, but we are kings and queens, so. We are kings and queens. Kings and queens. Okay. But I, I hear it though, like, she just said it how you would hear it in the street, like, how people talk, you know what I mean? How we talk. Comes to an end. Whether you are African or African American, we are all blacks. You belong to the same race. I am Maya. Let's peace and love reign among us. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, alias Wanda Maya. I hope you enjoyed this video. But this video was requested by a subscriber. It's not my idea. So shout out to my T-shirt. Was proudly sponsored by CSTK Innovations. Get your Wanda Maya T-shirt today. I am Maya, and don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to leave. make sure you go out and check out his videos yep, for definitely. his channel. Yep, yep. We truly enjoyed this video, seeing what Africans think of African Americans, and sharing with you all our perspective. Do you have anything else to say, babe? Ah, uh, no. I just respect everybody' comments. Um, I think everybody did pretty good with what they thought about it. They had honest opinions, um, and I think you know what I mean. I can uh, I can rock with it. Yeah. Me too. So that is the video. Let us know anything you would like for us to react to next about Africa. We are truly enjoying these videos. Comment, like, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We'll see you all soon. Peace. Peace.